TI OMAP processor. I do not know the specific model number off the top of my head. Uh, but it's dual core 1.2 gigahertz. Yeah. yeah. Any questions I can offer or I can uh, okay. keep, keep going? <laughs> Feel free. We're talking about updates. Is it going to go to ice cream? Um, you know, Motorola is committed to offering updates over kind of an 18-month period, I don't know, as we as we announced previously. Um, I don't know the specific plans, uh, but you know, as and when you know, Ice Cream hasn't actually been announced yet. So as and when you know, uh, repeatedly or you know, things that you want to auto trigger. I happen to have a very regular travel schedule where I get home um, every evening and I have to give a buzz to my limo driver. Um, I had I now have a rule that. Um, Airport limo service. It fires off a text message every time I land in here. Um, so it's a lot of a lot of very in, you know very intuitive kind of rules that you can define, but you know simplify your life. There's another uh, very cool feature in here called um, MotoCast, which if some of you are familiar with ZumoCast, this feature builds on ZumoCast. Allows you to do things like getting to all your remote content on your PC um, from within all the respective applications. So here in your library. Uh, in your in your gallery, you're able to see stuff that's on your on your local device. You're also able to see content that's also on. This is all stuff coming down from a remote device. Um, you can also see you can also see content that's, for example, um, audio. Um, when you're going into your music, you're not only seeing the content that's local to your device, but you see kind of an intermix of content that's local and remote. So anytime that you see a um, a, a Motocast icon there, you're seeing remote content. Anytime that you don't see the icon, you're seeing local content, right? Um, so you're able to intermix your playlist. You as the user don't have to worry about where your content is when you're playing it. It's a Super AMOLED advanced display. Um, and so what that offers is QHD resolution um, in, a, in, a, in an AMOLED uh, display. So very vibrant. Um, it's very well the pocket. The, uh, the processing speed is uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz. So as you can see, kind of very snappy. I'm sure some of you are familiar with Motorola's user interface, but you can kind of see how smooth it is as you kind of go through. It's got a gigabyte of, uh, of RAM. It's it's uh, the world's first device to have the Kevlar uh, microfiber on the back. So you know, allowing you to have a very kind of rigid construction, but in a very thin and lightweight device. It's 127 grams. It's 7.1 millimeters thin. So.